Welcome back everybody. Uh, this is the next video in our series and week-long set of opening up all the different Dominaria United boxes and today we're going to be opening up the Jumpstart box. I'm not looking forward to this one. Uh, I have not heard anything good about this. Uh, this just from what I've been able to uh, to read and, and to see about this it's just kind of a cash grab so I don't know. Let's put that to the test. No box topper in this one. All right, let's get down to business. All right, so th this is gonna be a little bit different than uh, how the other ones are set up. Got a cut down in there. All right, we got Tyrannical Pitlord, and we have the Raven Man, and then we have our lands. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna split this up a little bit. Commons, uncommons, land, and then we're gonna have our repair pile. All right, we got the arcane mischief for our uh, our theme. We have a haughty gin, and we have a cosmic epiphany. I don't know what to expect. I don't know if these are kind of following from the previous jump starts that would maybe have uh, different variants of the ones that you're opening, the Coalition Core. I guess we're going to find out. Sarah Redeemer. All right. That's a decent pull. I think it's only about a dollar, but it's a decent card. And a Sarah Paragon. Okay. All right. So the Coalition Core, that's a really good one. All right, great. So let's do let's do this a little bit differently. We're gonna just put our rares in a typical pile, and then we're gonna put our mythics up top. Wow, that's a really good pack. So let's hope that we keep getting the coalition cores, then, huh? Monster territory. All right, got a Briar Hydra. And a Land of War Loam Speaker. Gross. So I wonder if you can pull like, artifacts like Timeless Lotus is out of here. That'd be nice. Get ready to charge. I wonder if we're going to get a Sheevan Devastator. We're going to get the Father of Instinct and a Ragefire Hellkite. Yeah, these go quick. They are some fat packs. All right, totally merciless. That's our next theme. Another tyrannical pit lord, and a weatherlight completed. Okay. So there is a little bit of variety um, to these packs. You're not, you're not guaranteed to get the same cards every time. That's that's good. Oh, we did get it. Sheevan Devastator. And a Ragefire Hellkite. All right, I like that. So maybe there are two variants. One that is the common rare. And then one that is the mythic. Which, yeah, I'd be okay with that. Totally merciless. So what do we get out of that one? Okay, so we had the Pit Lord one. I'm trying to think what's black in Mythic in this one. Not that. Okay. So... Oh. Alright, we got Mystic Mischief. the Aether Channeler, and we had Cosmic Epiphany. I guess I saw that one coming. Alright, so let's see if we get another Sarah Paragon out of this one. Alright, that's looking good. And not so good. 
So there's got to be there's got to be some kind of variation to these. Just like with previous ones, where you'll get a couple of different cards, but uh, you know they'll spice it up for you every once in a while. Got a Briar Hydra and a Herd uh, Migration. Not the greatest. All right, we got ready to attack. All right, we have the Elder Dragon War and a Ragefire Hellkite. All right, last couple packs. Got Beast Territory. Now they're Briar Hydra, they're killing me with these. And the World Spell for a Mythic. I don't think that's the greatest one. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like Jumpstart as a set? Do you like it in Dominaria United specifically? Do you not like it at all? All right, we got a, a Keldon Flame Sage, and we have another Ragefire Hellkite. God, I'm getting Commander Legends flashbacks where I open up four Hellkite coursers in a row. If you haven't seen that video and you want to laugh, go check that out. Another Tyrannical Pit Lord. And a Braids. Not horrible. Not great. An Arcane Mischief. I wonder if there is um, one of these themes that's a little bit more rare than, than the other ones. Like a Phyrexian one or something like that. Uh, if they have those. Coalition Core. All right, well, let's see if we can get ourselves another Sarah Paragon, Sarah Redeemer, and all right, you know, a Leyline Binding. That's still a great rare. But we're down to our last one, so all good things got to come to an end, guys. Let's see. Will it be something we don't have yet? It definitely will not. So what do you guys think? Do you like this set? Do you like Jumpstart? Do you like Dominar United? you think that's worth it? Do you think the price of these Jumpstart boxes, 70 something dollars, do you think it's worth it? Let me know in the comments down below. Again, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys all on the next one.